Come on, girl. Do you hear me? Cow is up. How you holding up? Is bien? No. <laughs> You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. You want it, you must just a little. Just a little. You already owe me a lot. I am not well. I think I'm dying. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Uh, you know, I'll just come back later. Okay? Good morning. Morning, dear. Yes, you see, we all have our duties. I'll stick to bookkeeping. Hey, Strauss. 
Hello. Morning, Arthur. Thanks for all your efforts. You're very welcome. I know we don't say it much, but we appreciate it. All right then, Arthur. Hey, Abigail. Morning, Arthur. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Take care, Arthur. Morning. How's it going? Good morning, Arthur. Why have you got a guilty look? I don't. Okay. You're up to something, Miss Jackson. Okay. Good, Charles? Yeah. Already wishing we'd left Sean hanging from that tree. It was a heap of trouble, but I got Mike out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out around that way. Looking for a peace offering, he said. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Yes. Apparently someone is running around the country here shooting nearly everyone they see. Really? Yes, really. I thought maybe it was Bill, but now I think maybe it's you. Me? We don't need unnecessary problems. We have enough real ones. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure.
You done good, girl. Help. Hey there, partner. Haven't you called for enough for your dang gone well? Hey there! Good morning. I think it's off with the beat. Hey, mister. Hello. Hey, mister. Oh, oh okay, hey, that's friend. enough now. Hey there, Remember mister. Me? Ain't worth my time. Hi oh, there, mister. Hello. Ah, you good, girl? Yeah. Mister? Good morning, sir. Okay there? Morning. Enough of this horse shit. Hey, fellas. Good morning, mister. Good morning, sir. Morning. Your face looks familiar. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, maybe I was mistaken. Don't mind me. Take care now. Mister? Welcome. Got everything you need. Have a look. Everything in that is available for purchase. Good doing business with you. Packaged food. Can't go wrong. Gonna be on the road a while. That'll suit you. Hmm. Same thing. Always good to have some liquor for the road. Nice. Got a good amount of veterinary supplies. Keep looking. Let me know if there's anything else. Careful out there. Forget to buy something? I can get you anything in there you need.
I sell out of that pretty fast. Well, it's always here if you want to take another look. Come on back if things change. Something slip your mind? Ain't no other outfit beats their prices. Those go pretty fast. It's mighty popular these days. Seem a bit taken with that. Those go pretty fast. I sell out of that pretty fast. You like that? Seem to have your eye on that. That's mighty popular these days. Thank you. Those go pretty fast. You like the look of that one, huh? Sell out of that pretty fast. Taking a shine to that, huh? I get all kinds of coots come in here. That's something. Those go pretty fast.
That's mighty popular these days. Seem a bit taken with that. Seem to have your eye on that. You like the look of that one, huh? You like that? Those go pretty fast. That's mighty popular these days. Those go pretty fast. Taking a shine to that, huh? I sell out of that pretty fast. And that should be good. Thank you.
Back for some more provisions? Hello there, mister. Hey! Hey, Walsh! This here's the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your Who's choice of item on my tab? Oh, well... Thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do. With him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Hello? Yeah, the Almighty. Always a doubter you are. I'm a man of this world, not the next one. Anyway. Better outside told me I could grab something on his tab. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. <laughs> well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Fine choice. I'll let him know. Bye now. Let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Hey, how are you? I'm straight and narrow. Can't complain. Hello. Don't feel quite armed enough to go back out there? Hank told me a man of the clergy joined a poker game down a flat neck station. So drunk, he could hardly play.
Let's have a look. Yours now. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. You'll see a few people in town with that, too. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. Keep looking, no problem. Don't go start any more shit around here. Uh, hello, partner. Ain't no wild west no more around here. Ain't nothing. Hello. Nothing nice. Partner. It's more. Good to see. You. Goddamn America. So, what more are we doing? Goddamn shops. More goddamn prissy women in men's clothing and women in women's clothing. Thinking they must be men. My old Bessie, she could skin a bear with her teeth, so help me God. Look at you. Y'all make a fella sick. I'm tired of looking at you, Quentin, you little shit. Not now, John, please. You saw this here soup strainer and got inspired, huh? What's wrong with you, fool? Well, look at y'all. Look at you. My time? Man, it was goddamn men. You ain't men. The whole lot of you. Look at you. You ain't Dude. men. You ain't even Watch women. Yourself. You're. You're something else. You're revolting. <laughs> I'm revolting. Thanks. I'm tempted to gouge my eyes out just for the fact that I have? saw you. I have, uh, I wouldn't whatever you like. Good health. None of you. Oh, God, I can't believe what this dump is coming to. Want to get to know me? No more raising hell from you this so time. Do you hear me? Me? Ah, oh, no. Sorry, you must have me confused. Okay. Thanks, mister.
good, girl. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The Outlaw's Trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. Don't worry, I already sent a wire to the doctor for you. So, this is how I do it. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Sean's been back forever. Well, he makes his presence known. Good evening. Good evening, Arthur. You're doing a good job there. Thank you. For some reason, I must be getting sloppy. I just walk right Hey, Arthur! Right into a wake, but there, Dan... What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows, just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if 
We could force a train to stop. <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. You want to join us, Arthur? Good evening, Arthur. Evening. Ugh.
there. I'm happy to stable that for you.
Good girl. So Shay. Oh, hi, Arthur. Right to me. In the goddamn book scene, he took my mom away and made my grandmama get up and finish picking. Overseer was sweet on her and used to rape her. After she was set free at the end of the war, he tried it again. Her, but she ran away and my mama never saw her again. And we are free. So enjoy yourselves. Life is good. Oh, life is good. You hear that, Mr. Pearson? Life is very good, sir. Very good indeed. So all of you, keep busy. And stay out of the worst of trouble out there. We made it.
coming along, Mr. Pearson. How you feeling? Okay, a little better. Good. How are you? Fine. Hey, do you think... Do you worry? Hey, I hear Mary's been seen again. Sure. Well, I always thought... Well, she seems real nice. She had better ideas than me. She ain't the only one. <sighs> Things seem bad. Well, okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right. Being Arthur. No, I think much sense, huh? No. But somehow, you've summarized how I feel. It seems awful. Then it seems ways, and then it seems like there's just a way. And I, I just listen. We got out of worse situations. Plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten about. Hello, Arthur. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption. John? Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius.